Zion's door is the entrance to the old Jewish quarter of the city. Among the traditions, the rituals surrounding nagils, or water pipes, are very present, as in many Middle Eastern countries. The old city is entirely pedestrian, except for a few small streets under the ramparts. Two half-day visits are recommended, the first for the Christian and Muslim quarters, and the second for the Armenian and Jewish quarters. As many sites are closed mornings, it's best to visit the old city in the afternoon. And to feel Jerusalem's particular atmosphere, there's nothing like a walk through the market and the souks in the old part of the city. Israel is an incredible mix of populations, races, cultures, and religions. The demography has been marked by different waves of immigration. The Israeli population was estimated at 848,000 when founded in 1948. Of the 5 million Israelis today, 700,000 are Arab. 90% of the Israeli population is urban, one of the highest rates in the world. Israelis with European Ashkenazic origins, or Oriental Sephardic origins, make up roughly half the Jewish population. The new generations born in Israel are called Sabra. 16% of Israelis aren't Jews. There are approximately 500,000 Muslim Arabs and 150,000 Christian Arabs. In order to reinforce the Jewish state and its position in the Middle East, the government welcomes Jews from all over the world. Several million Jews from the former Soviet Union have immigrated to Israel, in addition to Jews from Iran, Ethiopia, Albania, and the former Yugoslavia. Franciscan monks have been established in Jerusalem for a long time, and they organize traditional processions in the city. They can be located at the Franciscan Convent of the Flagellation, a chapel built in 1927 on Roman stone slabs. The Franciscan Order is a religious begging order founded by St. Francis of Assise in the 12th century. The third station, here Jesus falls the first time. The Franciscan processions take place every Friday along the Via della Rosa. It's a religious path which leads to the Holy Sepulchre and pays homage to Christ's Stations of the Cross. The Ethiopian monks represent one of the Oriental Christian churches in Jerusalem. Their origins date to the European missions to Black Africa to convert local populations. 